Greetings, and welcome to the channel. This is Michaela from Team Retro, where we like retro games and the devices that bring them to us. So today we're here talking about the Lenovo Legion Go S. Now this is a Windows edition that I purchased back in February, and I did a full review on this handheld, and you could see it probably up here in a card somewhere. And in that video, I mentioned that this was a handheld that was actually being held back by Windows and that it was actually something that was more meant for SteamOS. Well, now that it is mid-July and SteamOS has been out for a while, you may be an early adopter and you may have gotten the Windows version or you might have purchased this last week on sale for about $500 and you wanna take your Windows version and you wanna install the official SteamOS image on it. Well then, my friends, this video is for you because that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to actually take the Windows version of the Lenovo Legion Go S and we're going to put the official SteamOS image on it and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process because there's a couple of things that you have to do that you might not realize. They're kind of obscure firmware updates and I wanna make sure that you go from zero to hero and you have a perfect install of SteamOS on your Windows Lenovo Legion Go S. So let's dive in and get to work. So we need to actually start this guide on the Windows end because there are certain things that we need to do specifically in Windows to make sure that when we switch over to SteamOS, all the hardware is working properly. When these Windows models were released, they were released with outdated controller and trackpad firmware and updating it all is not necessarily available on the SteamOS end. The last time I actually tried to install SteamOS on this handheld, I didn't really know that. And my trackpad didn't work. My trigger buttons were also wonky as well. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me why this was happening. And I had to do a lot of research and Googling and Reddit browsing to finally figure it all out. So that's why I decided to make this video because if you have the Windows model, maybe you were an early adopter, or maybe you got it during Prime Week, and you want SteamOS on your current Windows model, I don't want you to have to go through all that. I want you to be able to go right from zero to hero. So that's why I have this video for you, and that's why I've also published a written guide on the Retro Handhelds website, so that way you can reference either one and go step by step, and I could show you exactly how to get from Windows to SteamOS and not have to deal with any of the hiccups along the way like I did. If you're just taking this unit out of the box with the full intention of switching it over to SteamOS, turn your unit on first and go through the initial Windows setup to get yourself to the desktop. You will need a Microsoft account for this, unfortunately. There's no way to make a local account anymore in Windows. Once you've done that, go into Legion Space and follow the prompts to install the app. When you can get into Legion Space, check in the settings for any driver or BIOS updates. Mine is clean and up to date because I've already gone through this process off camera, but if there's anything here that needs to be updated, just be sure to go through that process and update. We're gonna go ahead and continue with the trackpad update. Now this is a very weird one because it's not available in Legion Space or through Windows Update. The only way to update the trackpad is by going to a knowledge base article on Lenovo's Chinese website. There, you'll find a download link to the firmware update with very specific instructions that need to be translated. I found a pretty good translation of it browsing the internet. I've included that translation in my written guide, but I'm going to go through the process here as well so that you could see it in real time. Once you've downloaded the file, Extract the contents and open up the extracted folder. Inside the folder is an update.bin file. Double click it and read the results of the command prompt. It will say either better life or SPIO. 
This is the type of trackpad that you have installed on your device. So the directions are a little different depending on what pops up on this script. My trackpad came up as Better Life, so I'm going to go into that folder and run the exe. Select config, navigate to the Better Life folder in the pop-up window that shows up. From there, select the update.btl and run the program. You should see a bunch of green icons and the program will close automatically. Now, if you have an SBIO trackpad, it should be just as simple to operate. There's another controller update that we need to run, but this is actually much easier to do in SteamOS. So we're gonna do that a little bit later. We're ready to install SteamOS. So let's head to the Steam website and download the recovery image. I'll leave a link in the description to where you need to go because you're going to have to use the version of SteamOS that is for other devices, meaning not the Steam Deck. Take a look at the instructions for the Legion Go S for Windows because we'll need to disable Secure Boot. We'll get to that a little later. For now, let's just click Install SteamOS on your device. Then click Download the Recovery Image, agree to the terms and conditions, and the image will download to your computer. Well, that's downloading. Let's get the Rufus program, which we will need to burn the recovery image from the USB device. We're just going to download the portable version. For this step, I recommend a USB-C drive or a USB drive that has both a USB-C and a USB-A port like this one here. You can also use a USB-A drive with a USB-C adapter. I'll leave links to my recommendations in the description, but this particular one here that has both a USB-C-A and a USB-C port has been a very handy drive for me. Now it's a simple matter of plugging the drive in, booting up Rufus, selecting the recovery image, and clicking start. Once it's done, we have a SteamOS recovery image on a bootable USB drive. Let's get SteamOS installed. Just be aware that this will delete Windows from your device. Let's shut down the device. Now we're going to hold the volume up button and turn the device on. Continue to hold the volume up button and you will end up in the Novo boot menu. Let's go into the BIOS and disable secure boot first. Select BIOS Setup, and once we're in, select More Settings, Security, and Disable Secure Boot. And that's it. Select Exit, and Exit Saving the Changes. Now, let's hold the Volume Up button again to get back into the Novo Boot menu. This time, we're going to boot from USB and wait for the KDE environment to start up. We'll need to use the touchscreen here as the trackpad won't work in recovery. Don't worry. It will work when SteamOS is installed. All we have to do here is click Wipe Device and Install SteamOS. This is going to take a bit of time, so go ahead and get a coffee or your beverage of choice. Use the bathroom if you need to. Go hug your loved ones. And once everything is done, click Reboot. From there, your Legion Go S will boot into SteamOS and you could sign into your Steam account and do all the things the Steam Deck would do. Now, remember when I said that we had one more thing to do? Let's head into desktop mode, and in the Discover Store, we want to download the firmware program. Go ahead and open that program once it downloads. Go ahead and open that program once it downloads, and you want to make sure you are on controller firmware 0.0.3.8. If you're not, you can update it right in this program, which is a much easier process to do here than it is to do in Windows. And that's it. You're good to go. You can now take your $500 Legion Go S Windows Edition, which was cheaper than the SteamOS Edition, with an extra 16 gigabytes of RAM, and run SteamOS on it just fine, turning your Windows Z2 Go device into a much better handheld. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please feel free to continue the conversation on the Retro Handhelds Discord, where you can find me hanging out in between videos. And if you want to support the channel like these wonderful people on the screen, you can do so by going to my Patreon page. Links for all these places are in the description. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you in any way. Every smash of that button helps the channel grow and allows me to get more content out to you. But until next time, bye for now and don't stop believing.